But anyway, here it is. Uh, a great song about uh, a lot of people that listen to this show, I would say. Uh, the Working Class Man. It's uh, from a band out of San Antonio, Texas. We're going to be talking to them next. It's the Tractor Brothers on HossTheBoss.com. Number one this week on the Hossie Music Awards Song Voting Contest Show. Oh, God. Uh, you know, people listen to that at home. It sounded so cool with my headphones. The way I came out of that song, I went, oh, yeah. But I didn't have my mic turned on. My my mic was turned off, and so, it, you know, you didn't hear me going, oh, yeah. That's some cool stuff there. Oh, yeah. But anyway, whatever. Uh, you, you can't win them all. Uh, that's uh, the Tractor Brothers on HossTheBoss.com. <laughs> nice song. Number one this week in the Hossie Music Award Song Voting Contest show for May. And on the line, it's uh, the Tractor Brothers themselves, at least two of the guys. It's uh, Vin and Jake. Hey, Vin and Jake. How are y'all doing, man? Yeah, <laughs> right. we're doing real good. All right, which one is that? Just so people know. I think that's Vin. Is that right? Well, this is me, Jake, oh. the drummer, and, and I'm Vin. Lead singer, vocalist, uh, guitar player extraordinaire, whatever the fuck you want to call me. And uh, regular jokester. <laughs> yeah, comedian. hey, and you did it. You I'm did it, Vin. comedian, token idiot, whatever you want to say. You know, Vin, rock and roll. Yeah, and Vin, you did it. Just before we went on the air, we were joking because I said you could say shit on the air, and then I said I forgot that I haven't. I usually make a point of just because I can, not because I'm like some kind of guy that likes to say fuck on the radio, but I, I, oh. I said I, I usually say, fuck at least once just to kind of make a point and uh because right. you know and and you said oh i'll get a fuck in and you did right away that was good vin that was great i figured i'd just do it in there right away you know rock and roll yeah i mean just do it right away now and now we can you know we, we, we now we can be like civilized for the rest of the show exactly. Exactly. you know now that you got you know now everybody knows you're cool because you said fuck and that's it so now um now we can revert to uh, language that our college professors would be happy about or whatever although i know if you scholars that's what we'll be yeah yeah all right well <laughs> okay guys uh well i i understand uh, mostly because you've been telling me so you know unless you've been lying to me uh you have been working on uh, uh recording all weekend or all all afternoon while you've been kind of listening to this uh, crap that we're doing here on the show and when i say crap i mean the stuff in between the songs not the songs but uh, so you've, yeah. been, you've been listening to all <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to agree quite so quick Vince. <laughs> that way i mean i was green on the recording part <laughs> <laughs> yeah you guys have been working on the recording yeah uh, uh um uh uh so tell us about that that's exciting huh this is the first day that you've been in the well, studio day, day one uh we did some drum tracking uh jake here uh, laid down his drum tracks and uh Got down a couple of bass tracks down, and uh, tomorrow probably uh, some more guitar tracks, and uh, we're working on it for the next uh, few weeks, I assume. Yeah, we're definitely going to take our time on this one. Uh, it's going to be six songs, so, you know, it'll show a little bit more of the band. Those two songs that are on there, you know, it's a good display of the band, but there's, there's a lot more we can do, a little bit more faster songs, and... Uh, shows a this this will show a little bit more of a variety of what we can do as a band okay good yeah well so uh the working class man is a is i mean more or less um I, well, well okay explain how that came about uh, when did you record that one well we recorded that song about uh two months ago now it's, it's actually an old an older song that i had written uh uh back a couple years ago when i was uh when i was on the road with another band uh out of florida and uh, it was just about being, uh, you know, that working stiff. You know, people always asking what you do for a living. I'm like, I'm just a musician, but I'm just, you know, I'm a working class man like everyone else, you know. <laughs> they're just trying to way to make it relate to the whole fact that, you know, we're, uh, we're working stiff just like the other, you know, every Joe, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and, and a lot of musicians, especially the ones that we play on this show, are working class men in more ways than one because they're holding down a damn steady day job while uh, doing the damn uh, uh, music uh, at night and on weekends as much as they can, not getting any damn sleep in between. But 
Uh, that exactly. I was I was I was gigging with this band uh, touring on the weekends, and during the week I was a school teacher. You know, I was working oh. forty hours a week playing uh, acoustic shows at night and uh, playing drums in a band on the weekend and just working stuff. You know. Wow. Just, Paycheck yeah. by paycheck, you know. Wow, and you were a school teacher, so I can say, because I've been a school teacher, you weren't just working 40 hours a week, damn it, unless you weren't doing your job right. Because <laughs> uh, uh, that, that's a, that's a, the, the audience, the audience comes in the weirdest times. I'm sorry about that, but uh, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was saying I was working with an experimental uh, school for the performing arts, so I, I didn't have to work the normal nine-to-fivers. Oh, okay. I worked, you know, four or five hours a day and then got to go out and play some rock and roll at night still, you know? Oh, wow. Well, you had a damn – they had a good gig as a school teacher then. Jeez, wow. But uh, – yeah. uh, but no any, yeah, but, but anyway, wow, that's great, though, because I, I do think that that song um, – uh, hits home with a lot of people that listen to this station. So uh, that might have been one of the reasons why you uh, got some new fans. I, I know you brought some fans of your own to the station, but I, I, I'm getting some feedback that shows me that uh, people who uh, were listening to this station uh, because of some other band that they liked, uh, they're they're hooking up with your song as well. So you're you're hitting home with some new people. So that's good. I hope uh, maybe you're you're getting some feedback from that yourself. Uh, cause well, I that's awesome. We're really, we're really excited you had us on the show and uh, excited we're making some new fans, you know. We really yeah. appreciate it. Totally. Yeah. Well, so uh, I, I was also glad to hear you say you're, this is the first day of what sounds like it's going to be many uh, days of recording. There's no reason to rush through your stuff. You know, just uh, 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 don't, don't set deadlines. Or if you do set deadlines, don't get too uh, bent out of shape if you miss them. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm 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 glad that you're going to take your time and getting this thing right this time. Uh, this this one's going to be we're going to take our time not only on that but it's also going to be mastered. It's going to be we're going to have the professional booklet, you know, shrink wrap, barcoded. It's going to be all retail ready. It's going to be uh, kind of like our first little baby, I guess you can say. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. and that and and. Uh, uh, that, that that doesn't always uh, come out, ended up exp inexpensive. That's uh, going to be a chunk of change invested in that, huh? Well, yeah. In in some ways, we, we're we kind of a do-it-yourself band to the fullest. Uh, we, uh, we're recording it ourselves, but, of course, the mastering and everything will pay somebody to do the artwork. Uh, the actual production of the CD will be paid for, too, but... We do all our own T-shirts. I'm a screen printer, so I screen print our shirts. Uh, we even screen print our, our demo, and then Vin and me also kind of work on all the artwork for the band. So we're total, you know, do-it-yourself kind of band. Self-sufficient yeah. monsters, that's yeah. what I call it. Yeah, well, and, yeah, and, and I, I tend to uh, go that route myself, but I also know for, about things like uh, getting it printed up, uh, you know, nice little, I guess a little nice little glossy uh, uh, liner notes maybe, and then uh, and then the, the barcode and all that is going to gonna run you yeah, some money. Yeah, we're going to do that, of course, but uh, with all the artwork and all the all the stuff prior, except for the mastering, is all going to be done in-house, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Also, but, I would like to add, we're kind of asking people about ideas for a cover for the CD, too. So if anybody out there has any cool ideas, you know, let us know. Mm. Yeah. It might end up being a cover of uh, our EP.